morning. Granted, it's a wonderful Wednesday here at VCHS. We're your host, Elena. And I'm Braden. Let's start off with today's lunch. For lunch today, we have a breakfast tornado, potato bites, scrambled eggs, juice blend, strawberry crisp bar, Miranda and oranges, and a cold milk. Friday is a day of celebration of these holidays. Here's a quick glance at your top five news stories. Here are today's top five news stories. Number one, Chick-fil-A customers upset nationwide with shift from styrofoam to paper cups. Two, Texas high school basketball player and brother beat up coach after being benched. Three, Tesla recalled most vehicles to fix autopilot system. Four, nearly half of teens say they are online almost constantly. And number five, bull on tracks disrupts trains between Newark and New York. Next, here's Friday's Word of the Day. This week's Word of the Week is deprecate. Express disapproval of. And here's the quote of the day. The man who does not read books has no advantage over the one who cannot read them. Mark Twain. Come joins us with what you are all up to this weekend. All right, I'm here with... Kinsley. And Cora. What are you guys doing this weekend? Um... Probably hanging out with friends. Basketball. What's this up? Cameron joins us for today's Senior Spotlight. Hi, I'm Cameron Spall, and we're doing Senior Spotlight today with... Kendermeyer. What do you do for the school? Go to school. All right. What do you do outside of school? Dance. Boys in this house, there's some boys in this What is your New Year's resolution? Get skinny. Thank you so much. Thank you. Did you watch any Christmas movies this break? I watched Home Alone. Let's hear what you all watched over break. Hello, I'm here with Kenzie Turner. And I'm asking, what is your favorite Christmas movie? My favorite Christmas movie is The Nightmare Before Christmas. Now it's time to interview you. What's your favorite Christmas movie, Carter? My favorite Christmas movie. My favorite Christmas movie has to be Elf. Classic. Today was an amazing day. You're gonna have an amazing day today. Let's see if you all know your Christmas trivia. Hi, I'm Cameron Spall and I'm here with... Ty Taylor. And today we're gonna be doing Christmas trivia. The question is, which country did eggnog come from? Uh, England? China. Germany. Um, Paris. Uh, England? I don't know. Yes, England. Which country started the Christmas tree? Kansas. Japan? Um, U.S. Which real life person is Santa based off of? Probably like Shaq or something like. Josh Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, isn't it, uh, God, Jesus? And here's Abby with today's weather. Today we'll have a high of 40 and a low of 23 with a 90% chance of snow. Now for a quick blast of fast, let's wrap up with this day in history. Stay classy, VC. January 8th, Mississippi. 1964. And this administration today, here and now, declares unconditional war on poverty in America. In Washington, President Lyndon B. Johnson vows to help America's poor in his first State of the Union speech to Congress. 1998. Ramsey Youssef, the mastermind of a 1993 bombing at New York's World Trade Center, gets life in prison. Just a few years later, the Twin Towers collapse in the September 11th terrorist attacks. And 1942. This result implies that everything in the universe is determined by the laws of science. 
Stephen Hawking, the physicist whose works include A Brief History of Time, is born in Oxford, England. Today in History, January 8th, Sandy Kozell, The Associated Press.